So we're fortunate enough to be in a proactive role, whereas uh, general duty, a lot of times, they are reactive. They take uh, calls come in and they handle those calls, whereas we go out and we have maybe a mission for the day. They spend a lot of their time dealing with people who may be living on the fringes of society, the street and trench population. But these are no heavy-handed police tactics. Remember, the downtown enforcement unit treat people with respect, and they get respect in return. I think we got a good rapport. They they know us by first name, um, as to, as we do them. Um, and I think uh, we show them respect. They show us respect, and uh, they know we have a job to do. And um, yeah, not much pushback from them at all, really, as far as if we have have uh, have to make an arrest or ask them to move along, et cetera, et cetera. So. Yeah, it's a good rapport. We'll do, you know, patrols with other community partners and we'll engage with the street and trench population. So we, we get really used to uh, the faces that we see downtown, mm -hmm. which is effective for enforcement because we know who we're dealing with. Um, if they're captured on surveillance, we can identify them relatively quickly. Part of our job as well is interacting with the, the people on the street, um, enforcing the criminal code. Um, the last three months, our team uh, under the Crime Reduction Unit affected over 100 uh, arrest warrants. That's a team of f five of us and uh, charged 40 people under the Criminal Code and CDSA Act. So our unit's actively out there along with the general duty members and um, yeah, we're doing our best to enforce enforce the Criminal Code. I think the business owners appreciate it. Um, obviously, Ryan and I would like to get out there all the time and sometimes duties take us to other other things but um, we're out there as much as we can and and if a business owner is upset or needs to, uh, some advice they're always welcome to give us a call and we can come down and visit with them and, and see how we can proactively address the issues. For Castanet News, I'm Darren Hatchie, Ian Vernon.